Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Nightmare Zapping, which is a horror game where you watch a cursed TV that lets you watch people who are about to die. Alright, let's turn this TV on. So the channel zero is the tutorial. One. Oh, we got something. Canela Town is doomed. There is a catastrophe in progress there. Soon this place will no longer exist. And there is nothing anyone can do to stop it. Okay. What's going on here? Um. There's gotta be more to it than this. We'll come back to that. The game description did say there's secret channels too, so we'll keep an eye out. Every day when I come home from work. There's a dog? A black dog is barking at me. With every day that passes, the dog comes closer. It's probably just a good boy. And closer. Just wants pets. But today it's different. It's trying to attack me. What should I do? Wait, I have choices. Scream at. Assert dominance. I shouldn't have done that. I... That's not a dog. I should have... Run. Let's try the other option. Oh, so we actually got a new option here. Let's kick it. Should have done that. So it's the same ending. But that also means like you cannot run until you actually get the um, the bad ending. Run! I run as if the devil were following me. I realized this was no ordinary dog. But it followed me. I... I can't escape. Well, you are destined to die. I'm just gonna double check here. Because the game's... This, this isn't in the game's description, like... You are peering into a town where everyone is cursed to die. Yeah, it's okay. So it's the same options. I have to get up. I can't be late today or my boss will fire me. And in this economy, I'll be dead before I get another job. I'm going to get dressed. I'm ready. That was quick. But I don't know if I should go without eating. Move or items? Nothing. Fun fact, this developer, um... We never game called the, uh, basically it was called the Salitzer House. It was a Virtual Boy style horror game. I think that was actually one of the first games to feature an Easter egg related to me. <laughs> I really want some eggs and toast. Got an egg. Oh, I'm nervous. How, how can this go wrong? What's this? I forgot to put this somewhere else. I hope the bread isn't bad. Got the bread. I still have to put the bread in it. I really wonder why my boss hasn't fired me. I have a tendency of overthinking things. Well, let's focus on the bread. Got the oil. Let's put the bread. I think it's done. Got the toast. Put some oil. I have to put the oil in the pan, now I have to put an egg. Everything is not ready yet, I have to put the oil in the egg. Okay. Egg. All I have to do is turn on the fire. It's time to cook the egg. Now it's done. All I have to do is put the toast on the pan. Ah, you're doing that. Finally I can eat. Huh? 304 for some reason. My eggs are shaped like this number. 
304. Time to write that down. Delicious. Shoot. I have to hurry. No, you don't. Before I forget, I have to do the prayer. But what was it? I can't remember. It's something to do with the statue. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I just go out. And something bad happened. <laughs> Pray, show respect. I truly thank you for your, the blessings I have. For you, the true protector of the town, your everlasting mercy. May my respects reach you in heaven. For you, I pray for protection. May you bestow your blessings upon me. Hey, my men. I can't spend any more time on it. I'm sorry for forgetting, Grandpa. I'm really sorry. Shall I leave? Open door. Let's go. Did we just die? What happened? A truck lost control. It crashed into this pole. Poor fellow. He was just passing by. He must be really unlucky. Curious. What's going on here? Someone gotta come in over a knife? That'd be pretty cliche. Dear? Can you please bring me a towel? It's not your dear. Thank you. Hey, did you need something? I have to go out now. I'll see you later. What? What? Wait! Wait, what? Don't leave me. What was that? Can I intervene here? Be like, hey! That's not your deer. That's some... Blob thing. I mean, some of these channels might just be- what the? Oh. You must see the last victim. The ritual has not been done properly. You haven't finished your date yet. You still haven't seen the whole story of the friends. The seed hasn't bloomed yet. There's a lot to do before the end. Okay. I, I see what's going down. It's like this one here. The ritual has not been done properly. That might be related to the channel with the... The toast. Maybe. Last victim is, I guess, just say I need to watch a certain channel. Here, finish your date. I still haven't seen the whole story of the friends. I don't, I don't think I've even seen that one yet. See, it doesn't bloom yet. The seed blooming might be the, the hole in the ground? What a good night to fish. There's nothing more relaxing than being here at night. As you wait for the next fish to take the bait. Oh? There was something binding. Let's get it. Got it, said Boot. Oh no, it's a fish. Nice. Another one for the bucket. What did you catch? It's a small fish. Wait. This place is deserted. Who are- Ah! <laughs> That's got a little silly. That is weird. Over here! Don't just keep it to yourself. We have to go soon, it's getting dark. It's gonna be fun to mess with these guys. Take this. Why did you do that? Yeah, what is wrong with you? See you later, suckers. Do we have to do this? Can we just look for it in the morning? You should have. I can. This is the ball that my parents gave me as a present. 
You know, we don't have much money. If you like, I can ask my parents to buy you a new one. Oh, that's nice. It's not about that either. I can't replace it. I need it. I understand. Don't worry. I'll search with you until we find it. That's what friends are for, right? Thank you. Okay, remember they mentioned the story of the friends. That's one of the ones we had to watch. I think I found it. It's right... there. Is this yours? I noticed a trend of... the antagonists being... I'm not sure if they're goo monsters or what. But they're, they're black silhouettes with like eyeballs or things. Okay. I wonder if you can reverse that. See map. Where am I? You're dead. What happened? Why is everyone so sad? Dear? Little George. I see. It seems my time is up. I can't speak. And there's so much that I want to say to all of you. Please remember that I love you. I I'm sorry for what I did to you, little George. I want to protect you. But what's happening? Who are you? Are you ready? Yes. You will go to a better place. But they won't be able to reach you. What do you mean? A fate worse than yours is waiting for them. One that can't be compared to yours. Wait! What's going to happen to them? Look, there it is again! You escaped from me. They want, won't be as lucky as you. Wait, don't touch them. Don't hurt them. Please. I... There's some kind of... Let me... See the names are mentioned here? George. Hmm. What is the figure that keeps appearing? It's like too many cooks. Like there's like one central thing going through the channels. Thank you for the wait. Let us dance, my love. Let's dance for the good times. For joyous times. We promised we won't be separated. I will not let you go now. We will be together until our dance is over. So when my time comes, I'll be here. Waiting for you to pick me up. Okay. Yeah, I miss you too. Please wait. I didn't mean to do that. I'd be better, please. Just let me go. What is going on with your pupils? It's useless. The eye symbol. Hold up. What is this supposed to be? I'm going out. Son, are you listening to me? What happened to him? He has been acting really strange since his friend's mother's came to visit. Before I ball, I'll talk to him when I get back. There it is! Many murders have occurred in recent weeks. Here we are in the crime scene. To our viewers, you should not walk alone in the night. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the latest news on the murders. They're already dead. I think it's like maybe a little bit of blood right there. 
No. Oh. It wasn't my fault. They were really worried. I should have told them. Why'd you do that? Yeah, what is wrong with you? I shouldn't have done that. If they... If they... What would happen if they were dead? I didn't mean... I was just jealous. I, I wanted to play too, but they didn't invite me. I... I... The ball. See? Look, the eye is prominent. Is that... It can't be. Guys? Is this a joke? Please come out. I beg of you. Maybe Welby's joke. I think that's a twist. Are you guys outside? Don't answer that door. Just give me a second. I'll open the door. Don't do it, Denji. It's a head. I was actually kind of wondering if it was one. Ooh. Nice, I'm into this. Hey. You're really spacing out. I'm just spacing onto your eyes. Are you okay? This is the date. I, I, I saw that it was on that one scary channel. Who are you? I... I'm Amelia, your date. Maybe you want to cancel our date? Sad face? No, I'm okay. I have a bad feeling. I don't like you. Stop resisting. Uh-oh. This ain't no normal girl. This is the eye monster. Who are you? I have a bad feeling. Where am I? Well, you said you wanted to be here for our date tonight. In the scary forest? You told me it would be romantic. I wanted to see what you had prepared for me. You really had a lot of fun putting out all this together in the forest. Haha. <laughs> so, tell me more about you. I know. Tell me more about yourself. About me? Sure, I... Insert here something that you want her to be into. I've been thinking. We were really good together. I find you really cute. You're really cute as well. You ugly pig. The eye demon's like, No! Stop dating some ghosts! You get the good end right now! I'm okay. That's good to hear. I was worried about you. I thought you were thinking of someone else. Oh, you know, I'm just thinking of eye demons. I'm joking. You happen to be an eye demon, would you? Like, I'm really into the eye demon thing nowadays. You know, like the whole, like, black tendrils and stuff. I'm really into that. I, f I feel like I'd have a lot of chemistry with a, a giant black tendril eye demon. I... Insert here something about yourself. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. I know. I don't think any of my viewers would ever guess it. Thank you for trusting me with this. I really mean it. No problem. I've been thinking. We we're really good together. I find you really cute. You're really cute as well. Thank you. You know, I really feel like you're the one for me. I thought this date would go well, but I didn't imagine that I would fall in love with you. I... Uh... We're just right here in the forest. I, I love you. I need you right now. Do you want to do it? Let me go, I need to get out of here. You know, you can't escape. So why don't you just give up? Enjoy me. Be with me. You're a tendril monster! Let's do whatever you want. I know you need someone by your side. It's what your heart wants. Believe me, I will give you anything that you want. I'll do whatever you say. Yes, even that. Forget about escaping. And take pleasure in what you have in front of you. So let's start from the beginning.
Sure, why not? You're probably an eye demon. Congratulations. Soon you're about to lose your virginity to the one you love. You couldn't be happier. You have an amazing girlfriend and life couldn't be happier. Answer here things that you like to do with your new girlfriend. You couldn't be happier. You couldn't be happier. You couldn't be happier. You couldn't be happier. You couldn't be... Wow, uh... A lot of people are dead. What's channel 39? Nothing. Oh, look, no, no, it's a flower blooming out of the head. Mommy? Daddy? Is someone there? Hello? I finally found you. Maybe it's a fa flower demon. Like, it's not an eye. It's like the... Like a... You know, it's a flower, basically. You are the last one that I've been missing. Are you scared of me? No, I'm not. I have seen many movies about monsters. I know there are monsters that are good. Monsters aren't evil. They're just misunderstood. Yeah, but I'm an evil monster. Bye. I see. Are you looking for your parents? I know where they are. You want to come with me? Of course. Thank you, Mr. Monster. Do you have a name? No. I don't need one. Well, if you won't tell me, I won't tell you mine. Let's find your parents. Thank you, Mr. Monster. Is something wrong? Ricky says I shouldn't go with you. Little girl, that's a thing of monster. Don't worry, Ricky. Mr. Monster is good. No, it isn't. Hey, listen to me. I'm a teddy bear. Ricky, I'll leave you here to be the house guard. If mommy and daddy or big brother are coming home soon, I don't want them to be lonely. So be a good bear and wait for me. See you later, Ricky. I can't bear this. It, it, it really can. It's crying. Mommy? Daddy? Why do you look so sad? They're dead. Yeah, look. See, it's it's the the thing blooming. It's a flower of well, it's kind of a flower. Is that it? I don't think we found the secret channels. Oh, we input channel number. So yeah, you can go over the uh, thing. We can see the actual like right prayer. Hey, Grandpa, look, George. When do we need to pray? I'm really bored. Shh. Our patron saint must be honored. If the saint sees you praying, you'll be protected from evil. But Grandpa, apart from our family, no one else prays to such a thing. They go to the churches and they pray with their families. My friends make fun of me for my prayers to this doll. A doll. A doll. Remember what you need to do before you go out. Praying? Pray three times, you idiot. And then show respect. Do you wish to die? Then don't forget it. Never. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa! Grandpa. If only I didn't care what others think about us, then you would still be here. Okay, so we know what to do here. Okay, so pray three times. 
one. Two, triple. So respect. Amen. Open door. Let's go. What happened? Truck lost control and crashed into this pole. One guy was about to be crushed, but it looked like something pushed him away. He must be one lucky guy. I was the lucky one. Now I have you within my reach. Oh! So we didn't die this time, but now the, the demon can grab them. Oh. This is the town they're in, I guess. Man, that was just a shot in the dark, but it was kind of obvious. So we see each other again. But sadly, this is not the right time of our meeting. Is that also her house? I think want to see how things are progressing. The row hasn't ended yet. We'll see each other soon. Okay, so these are filled in. Yeah, the teddy bear. Uh, I see. So it's specifically targeting... Like, it, it just wanted to wipe out one specific family. Oh, they gave these the credits. We'll go back and find the other secret channels. I think we should probably have at least two more left. Maybe more, actually. Because the, the one channel might not be counted as a uh, secret channel. The one with the... Um, that tells you the prayer. Huh? Why is this granny in the middle of nowhere? It could be a ghost. Probably is. Be honest. Or it may need help. I have to set an example for my sister. God damn it. Old Abbott's die hard. I have to let her go. Thank you for stopping here. No one else has been so kind to me. Sure. Where are you going? Can you take me to the nearest town? Sure. Is it too far from here? Laurel Town is very close from here. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. May I ask, where are you from? Oh. I just realized you're the thing that's buried in the ground. I'm from Canela Town. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, by the way. Feel free to correct me. Canela Town. Yeah. It's really sad what happened there. Can we change the subject? I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. Have you lost a loved one? My whole family. My parents, my sister, my friends. I lost everyone. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. You know... I'm kind of a witch. I can see into their souls. Your family and friends really miss you. See the eyes? What are you? We finally arrived in another town. Another town was delicious. I'm very eager to taste what this town has to offer. You! Thank you for bringing me here. But you're no use to me now. As a token of gratitude. You can join them in me. Ricardo, is that you? Amelia, Mom, Dad, I finally found you. I've looked everywhere. I'm happy to see you all again. Did you bring Ricky? Of course, he's here. Thank you for bringing him as well. 
I... I'm sorry I didn't save you all. I'm... I'm just so happy to be with everybody. Dead. What's this button do? Hey, I'm Maldo. Thank you for playing my game. Do you have some time to talk? Sure, why not? So I want to talk to you about this game for a little while. Did you enjoy it? It was fun working on it. Originally, the game was something like a test for a small framework that I made. Why are you a candlestick? I wanted to test it with a small game. Obviously, this project grew a lot. As you may have heard before, I tend to over-scope my games. So this was a way to release something then to keep me from making a big game. I choose to make it as a channel-based game. So I couldn't make more content, I could finish the game at any time. HA! I had to finish it now because I need to make a game that I could sell in the future. But I have even more stories written. Because I'm a programmer, my art takes ages to make. So those stories would have taken much more time to develop. I don't know how this game will be received, so I couldn't give myself more than a couple of months to make this. Maybe now that you have seen the game in action. Are you interested in a version with more content? Big enough support, I could devote myself into working on more content for this. So please reach out to me by following on Twitter, Maldo19, or on Itch.io page that you download this game from. Please give it a rating on the Itch.io page if you can. Thank you for hearing until the end. I really appreciate you for being here and for playing the game. I really feel happy that you played this till the end. Thank you for playing. I hope to see you in the future. Goodbye. Give you some time to talk? No. I get you. Our time is limited. You need to get whatever is next. Hey, you're not supposed to see this until you finish the game. But it means that either you stumbled here, here by chance, or you already finished the game and came back to see what would happen. Or maybe you watched the playthrough. Wink. Either way, you seem to be a fan of secrets. Secrets. There are four more secret channels. Let's see if you can find them. You want clues? One is a classic horror number, the 666 one. And the other three are related to my other games. You should check out the itchy page. By the way, I I'll, I'll, won't change what I sent to you find all four secret channels. Oh, and don't clear the game or else I'll tell about the other message. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, my god. That was from, uh... That was just basically the kill from that game. How am I gonna... Do this one? Okay, no. One, two, three. Wow! So you found them all. What do you think you are? Manly badass hero. Very well done. You're a secret master. You're the secret master. Let's go, Pikachu! That's not Nash voice. As you guessed it, except for the 666 channel, all the others are their date of release. I mean, yeah, if you go to the pages, it's like the only number you can kind of gleam off. The ever trick developers do, because I've seen them do this thing with their, like, old games, is they'll re-update the page. Or they'll look at a number that they had on the page in the first place. In this case, the release date. But sometimes it'll just be some random number that's in a screenshot they had there. Coincidentally, mind you, because I don't think they planned this far ahead. You're like, oh, there's a number there. Um... I'm going to use that in a secret in my current game. The other thing you got to watch for, if you're secret hunting sometimes, and then developers are really hiding stuff, because I've also seen this trick, is look for dummy developers. And by dummy developers, I mean a fake developer. That is just the developer's alt. And they've released some weird, crummy hidden indie game or something that you wouldn't, like, notice. So you, you wouldn't, like, put two and two together and, like... You have to guess, like, that's them, and then the secret's there. That, that's an interesting trick, too. So can you, you can guess why I'm in this channel. I don't have any other surprises more, so... I'm sorry. And again, thank you for playing. Goodbye. Later. So, that's it for Nightmare Zapping. 
It's a little interesting how that there was actually a connected story. They weren't just like, here's random spooky channels. It was uh, an entire family tree just being wiped out by this one specific demon. I mean, it could be an alien, it could be a demon, it could be whatever. That just like really hated this family. It's like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this family. Like every single one of them, I'm going to get them. And you essentially just watch them go one by one. If you go through, you can kind of put together a timeline. Uh, if, if any of you are bored, that's your homework for tonight. And they did talk about, I mean, the developer that is um, maybe expanding the concept, making a, a paid, more, um, you know, bigger game. And I think you could. So the big one I think you would need is if you make it into a full game, I think you need more violence. And that sounds weird to say. Like, that sounds like bloodthirsty. But you, you need some more violence in there. Because we got a lot of, like, cutoff kills where it's just like, the thing appears and it cuts off. I needed to see some more like contrast with like some more extreme ones. And the reason you want more violence, it's not just because of like a, a schlocky thing or whatever. It's because of like, you, you need some strong, real fast hits when you're flipping through the channel. So you got a taste of that with like the fish channel because it's really goofy. It's, it's kind of breaking the contrast a little. And then the dating sim one. So the potential of the, you're playing games or different types of adventure games or visual novels or whatever within the TV format is where your your golden egg is. It doesn't necessarily have to be limited to um, adventure game visual novel based ones. You, you could, if it's within means of the programming or the engine or whatever they're using, you could have some that are more like physical, like, like, in like a platformer game. I wouldn't go really advanced with it, but just like minor things or uh, multi-genre stuff. I think you had, what, it was like three of them? Like, you had the point-and-click adventure game. Um, the one of the dog is kind of a choose-your-own-adventure game. And then the um, the dating sim one. I was trying to, I'm trying to remember if it was um, another one that was, like, vastly different as far as how you actually played it. Because I think most of the other ones were just, like, cutscenes. But yeah, there, there's potential in the format. I... And this, this is a minor thing. This is just more if you make a commercial product for marketing wise. Is I would make sure one of the earliest channels would be a, a really shocking one. And this is something with horror games that are the more. Essentially, it's uh, harder to sell unique horror games. So, like this one's like you're flipping for TVs. So, if someone were to purchase this on Steam, they have no idea what they're getting into or something. You want that trailer bait, shocking, like. Maybe a jump scare, maybe something like channel, like to hit someone like right at the bat. And then you can kind of like bring the, the tempo down a bit. But this is this is more directly towards the developer. This is not a commentary in this game. Because I, I, the developer will probably listen to this. Because for unique concept horror games, I have noticed a trend where the general consumer, not necessarily a, a Let's player or Watcher, if they don't see something hooking them in the, like, the, sometimes the first 10 seconds, 5 or 10 seconds, they're gone. Which is like, oh, I'm refund. This is stupid. This is just TV. I'm refunding. So that's my advice to this developer on the TV concept. Um, that's my advice for a lot of horror games, actually. You always want that 80s style stinger. For this type of game, anyway. Also, a, uh, I'm not sure this is actually a intentional thing. I think it is. I just kind of noticed that I was doing my post-game commentary. The, the power button on the TV remote is the eye symbol on the weird tendril flower demon thing. So I'm wondering, like, is the demon, is the demon, like, the desire to watch TV and reality TV? Like, it, it is the TV itself, it picks a family and, like, I'm gonna turn you into a TV show. Why? Because I can. And because my arms are made of tendrils, and I can never play Nintendo. Because our controller's not made for tendrils. So I live a very sad and boring life. Do nothing but watch anime VHS tapes 24-7. That much anime drives a man mad, you know. But yep, yeah, I liked it. I I actually haven't particularly liked there was an actual continual story that wasn't just random stuff. Because I liked the little detective thing. You can kind of do with it like, oh, this connects to this, to this, to this, to this. But yeah, anyway. So if you go for watching play Nightmare Zapping, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.